Tesla someone could be called most fascinating and amazing aspect of full self drive or enhanced autopilot suit, in my opinion. In this video, I'll share my experience with someone feature, its limitation, and unbelievable finds with potential users of this amazing feature. Someone is basically of two types, moving the car forward and backward and calling the car to you or sending your Tesla to a target location. Firstly, let's see calling the car to target or yourself feature. To allow this feature to work, the car must be parked in a known public road, which means it works only on private properties or in any parking lots. Let's see a couple of examples of this smart summon feature of calling the car to yourself or sending it to a target location. So to try the come to me feature, I just parked the car over there, as you can see behind that black car. And I'm just gonna be uh, calling the car on this side. And let's see if this does come to me. Currently the app detects that I'm at the back of the building. So let's move a bit uh, further and see if yeah, the car map changes direction. And that seems perfect. Now let's just call the car. And I can see the car lights just came on. The car just reversed a bit. And I think it did detect that it has to come to me by reversing it in the lane. So let's see how it's proceeding. And it seems to be going good. Seems to be working fine still. It's amazing how efficient it could be. Like the car's not driving any slower than uh, what I would in this parking lot. And it's amazing to see how it performs. And the car indicates and then just turns to me. And it seem, seems to be doing a great job. As you can see, it, it's the pace uh, the car comes to you isn't, isn't too bad. But I think that's where the positives uh, are. Like if uh, you are stuck in a car park and it's raining down, then you can use this feature. Or I've used this feature, uh, for example, I left the trolley right there and my car was parked over there. So I can just call my car to here and you know put the stuff, uh, put the groceries in there and things like that. But as you saw, summon features works great. And let's try it again to call the car where we were and go from there. Now we'll try the other summon feature, which is you can send the car to a target. And I've set the target to be where the car actually started moving back from. And as you can see, the car's already started to relocate itself and it knows uh, where it needs to go. But this time we'll follow the car. And as you can see, I'm right next to the car, but you can still send the car maybe to uh, get someone from the other side of the parking lot. And that's even better. So I just stopped. And we can resume uh, the summon feature. So we just resume the summon feature. And as you can see, the car did turn perfectly well. And this is to show that although you're right next to the car, you can still select where you want the car to go. All I wanted to see is like how far from the curb the car goes. And as you can see, it's basically perfect. The only sort of bad thing is it doesn't actually park itself. Like there should be option to park itself. It says summon complete, which is like, but as you can see, the car is standing right in the middle of nowhere. Now, this is the feature which I was referring to when I said I found some unbelievable things that I didn't know existed. In this test, I was able to drive the car on Smart Summon and send the car to a target 
while actually sitting in the car. I didn't think that Tesla is going to allow the car to use the summon feature if anyone else is in the car. But to my surprise, I was able to do that smart summon while actually sitting in the car, setting a target to go to and just using the summon feature. So let's try the summon feature while you're actually sitting in the car. So as you can see, I'm currently sitting in the car and I've set the target to go to that parking space. And let's hit go to target. And as you can see, the car did start to move and I'm not doing any input. So let's see how it goes. Well, it does feel weird from inside and it's not as smooth as it looks from outside, but it's still doing it. And we reached the target. And this is not a perfect spot either way because it's, as you can see on the map, it's hidden with the trees, so it's not perfectly visible. But still, nonetheless, it's a good thing that I tried it. And same thing goes like I can move the car backwards. So which means the summon is allowed even if you're sitting in the car, which makes the feature even more useful uh, for cases like, let's say you parked on one side of the car park and you want to pick someone who's on the other side, you don't actually have to go and drive. You can use the summon, although it's a bit gimmicky, but still a cool feature to have. And finally discussing the most useful aspect of summon, which is moving the car forward or backward. This is the most useful feature because if you're parking your car within the tight spaces between two cars. Let's try the summon feature and moving the car back and forth. So as you can see on the app, you can click on the summon and it gives you these options. One is come to me, which is like if you're far, the car is going to drive to you. One is moving it forward. So as you can see, the car moves forward and all you have to do is keep holding the button and the car just swaps the parking spots and it's easier to park from outside. You can use this feature to park your car or if you parked your car a bit far away from the curb, you can use this feature to move the car forward or to reverse it if need be without actually getting in the car. And while our free test of the Enhanced Autopilot feature lasted, I've used this summon feature more than any other summon feature of the Enhanced Autopilot suit. So although it might seem like a gimmicky feature, but I think Summon is one of the coolest feature of Tesla Enhanced Autopilot or Full Style Drive Pack. Well, that's all for this video. Thanks a lot for supporting my channel. I would highly recommend trying the Summon feature if you can. And if you like the video, please like and share. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.